Hello, can you see me? Anybody there? <laughs> I bet we've seen a bit of that in the past few weeks. Well, video conferencing is here to stay, even after the corona crisis. The key, I think, is to embrace and not fear technology. It can really help you. Start out by checking your appearance, make sure everything looks okay, and then take the time to practice with the technology at home. There is nothing about this that cannot be learned. Many of you are using a laptop like this one and has a built-in camera. You may not know you have settings you can adjust on that camera. To find the settings, just hit the icon next to the search bar and then find camera among the programs. You might think about buying a webcam on your own like this one. It sits right on top of your monitor. It gives you a lot more options in terms of settings. You can get one for under $50. There's multiple settings option here. For example, zoom. You can zoom in and out, just get the right uh, position for you. Also on brightness, whatever kind of shade you want. There's also a contrast button. Many more. Gives you more options to look better. Keep in mind, you may be on camera at all times. We heard about the woman who went to the bathroom with her laptop. The video platform usually has a stop video or mute audio button. Use them when needed. And if you're in charge of the video conference, practice ahead of time with others to work out the kinks. Fumbling through these things looks bad. And remember, TV is an intimate medium. Feel like you're speaking one-on-one, -on -one personally, even if you have a big audience. Video conferencing is the future, so relax and make the most of it. Good luck.